Wells, we saw a dream in 1947. Dream of building an equal and just society. Dream which was later enshrined in our constitution and which said every citizen of this country, irrespective of caste, religion, region, language that they speak, gender, they will get equal citizenship rights in this country. No religion can give equality to women like the Indian constitution gives it. And today when we stand here, and I must congratulate all the organizers and groups who have come together to safeguard the constitution. We must understand that there is an unprecedented attack on the Indian constitution. The four pillars of democracy, the judiciary, the executive, the media and the legislature, they are all under severe attack. I have in all my life have not seen the kind of chaos that the country is facing today. And this is an extremely important step to bring together people from across, across Kerala and to Bangkok to stand together and say that we the people will safeguard the Indian constitution. Friends, when a leader of the main political party comes to Trivandrum and says that Supreme Court should give judgments which are which can be translated on the ground. It's a danger sign. It's a danger sign to the democracy of our country, to the constitution of our country. Because if Supreme Court is told that you bring judgments which can be implemented. That means that the Supreme Court is being threatened. And being threatened by criminals who unfortunately are ruling this country. We are seeing the mayhem on the streets across India in many, many places. People are coming out like you have come out to safeguard the Indian constitution, to safeguard democracy, to safeguard securitism. I would appeal to the people of Kerala that along with your movement like We the People, also pressurize the secular political parties to form coalitions. Because while we might agree or disagree or we might argue whether fascism is knocking on our doors or not, but India has crossed more than 50% mark on all the 14 characteristics of fascism. And if we do not defeat the forces who are attacking our constitution, then we might not be able to hold meetings like this in future. There are many, many states in India where it is impossible to organize meetings like you are organizing in Kuwait. In Gujarat, for years, we cannot get an auditorium to talk about peace, to talk about love, to talk about our choices, to talk about the constitution. You have to give it in, give it in writing that you will not say a word against the government, only then the auditorium is given to you. Before Kerala also turns into that kind of an environment, it is important that people from Kerala assert and impress upon the political parties, the secular political parties, to come together to join hands with the people of India. Because the people of India are coming together. People of India are fighting together. Like today, hundreds of groups have come together in, in this program, We the People. In September, October, we, in the name of Bharti Amanti, traveled across India covering 200 cities and thousands of civil society groups and women groups came together to demand peace, to demand love, to demand harmony, to demand the rights of the young people to fall in love with whom they want. They have a constitutional right to do that. And even if not for ourselves, we owe it to the next generation that we leave a country where they can love, where they can eat what they want to, which is a constitutional right, 
and where they can live a life in their own way. There is going to be music, there is going to be a lot more here. So I would confine myself here, congratulating again the organizers, the people and requesting all of you to take this forward because India is facing very, very difficult times right now and we must ensure that we do not allow the fascist forces to take over the country completely. They have taken over probably half, 50% of the mind space. This is the struggle for the mind and the hearts. And this struggle for mind and the hearts is the most difficult. It is much easier to capture territories, but it is most difficult to change minds and change hearts. And that is the challenge which we face and I think that all of us, people in Kerala, people in the rest of India, will come together to fight it and to safeguard our constitution and democracy. Thank you very much. Thank you.